Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Coma SRT5, coming at you tonight with the, dare I call it, night before video. Uh, what I've done is a lot of thought, a lot of homework, and a lot of searching on eBay and Amazon. Um, okay, so if you're going to turbo a car, what you're going to need is, well, your turbo that's going to add more air. You're going to need more fuel, and you'll need spark to ignite that air and fuel mixture. Uh, your spark plugs, your factory spark plugs, are, aren't going to be any good. You're going to need two to three stages colder, just in case. So, you don't get pre-ignition, or knock, or ping, or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, okay, I'm going to do car camera flip here, and we're going to get started. So, here is my pre-assembly pile we'll go over here we've got AEM 340 LPH pump for more fuel we got injectors for more fuel uh, this is the blow-off valve blow-off valve mount boost controller however let's start from the exhaust here so from your exhaust manifold you're gonna have a fitting like this. This is not a direct fit. Uh, this is the closest one that I could get from O'Reilly. I had them order them all into the store. That is the only one that sits as flush and as well as it does. That is part number 41725. And I got a few other fittings kind of just in case but it looks like this pipe is going to slide into this one just fine this is a 135 degree bend meaning this is flat on the ground it, and it goes all the way up and it's going to lean forward like that at a 45 degree angle just like your factory flange this one you can see what the plan is here the flange is going to come into here 90 degrees under the back the front of the transmission slash back of the engine these two are going to come forward now this right here is going to be the K member or engine support whatever you call it these are my new spark plugs to go in this is a wide band do not do any sort of engine modification boost nitrous anything like that this should be the first thing you buy it's going to tell you your, if you're running rich or lean. Um, too far in either direction is no good, basically. Uh, I've got new O2 sensor bungs for the factory sensors to go back in. It'll throw a check in the engine light because it's going to think that the cats are being inefficient, but that's okay. At least we'll know. Now this is just a representation, the oil feed line and the drain line. Um, that, well, we'll get there. Uh, flex pipe, because the engine is going to rock, because it does that. And the turbo is going to be mounted solid to the frame. So it's got to move someplace. We've got a few of these. Two and a half inch V-bands. V-bands are really expensive. If you plan on doing a turbo kit like this and you want to keep it permanent, then I'd recommend just doing the lap joints and throwing a weld on there. These are about $20 to $30 a piece. So we've got the flex pipe, we've got a bend, and say your front wheel is going to be about here. There's an exhaust strap just for conversation's sake. And then we're going to go up and we have our turbo flange, two and a half inch on one side. And it adapts so it would sit like that. The turbo is going to sit like that. And there's the V-band for the turbo and a 3-inch pipe. 4-inch, whatever. I'm sorry, I, this is really late and all that. So we've got our air filter. Sucking air into the turbo. Blowing air out of the turbo into the intercooler. Well, there's going to be a front of the car. We'll have some more pipes. We will work our way up into the airbox area. Maybe I'll drill a hole in the bottom of the plastic that's underneath the airbox. Um, so yeah, as far as this is concerned, 
This is a STS turbocharger kit uh, oil oil uh, return pump. So this is a pressurized line. It's going to feed the turbo oil, and the turbo is mounted pretty low. So we're going to hook up not this, but one just like it. I pulled this off the shelf from my kit from my truck, and uh, so that's going to have that's going to suck oil out. S send it back. Uh, this is these hoses are too long, but I'm not going to cut them. And it's going to be free fill at the oil cap. So either that or a hole in one of the valve covers, and I'll just vent the other valve cover. Uh, we've also got the waste gate. I'm going to have to have an additional pipe come off straight. That is the best way. I've done some homework. You can mount a waste gate. Uh, there we go. sideways like this but your best bet is always a dead-on hit from where it makes the bend or in this case where that's a 90 it's gonna be here and uh, that way I, uh, <laughs> I'm still learning I'm doing this whole thing just to learn but uh, I've got a Turbo wrap. Like I said, I got the boost controller for a few extra psi. This has a five or a six psi spring in it right now. It also came with a seven and a fourteen pound spring. Uh, I'm sure there's a whole bunch I'm missing, but this is, uh, I guess, the introduction to the parts for the big project. I've got some scrap metal lying around. Uh, in case you missed the other video, I have re-drilled these holes to this bumper mount. These are half-inch bolts. I've got five of them. And this is some pretty heavy gauge steel. I think it might be... Oh, crap. I don't know, 10 gauge or... I mean, it's solid. So I've taken another piece and I made... This is... Uh, the same thickness. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. I have drilled holes in it. I've used utilized the factory holes right here to the radiator support. So right here we're going to mount an L bracket like this. Square that up, weld that there, weld it here. And then on the bottom side, we're going to do it as well. This is thing is going to be plenty strong enough. The turbo is going to be mounted to this. We drill the hole in it, and the pipe is going to come through right over there. Of course, I've got to put my sway bar back in place. Those are the bolts hanging from the frame for the sway bar. But this is uh, what we got. It's going to come up under here and then kind of bend over uh, and then turn 90 degrees up and mount right here so hope that, that gives you some insight some clues as to what you could do uh, like I said it, I really want to make this an all-inclusive kind of turbo how to turbo your car video there's a lot of people and a lot of videos out there but nobody really shows the real struggles and the randomness of the things that you have to do to um, complete such a task. You know, you go and watch these videos on TV. Won't mention any names, but uh, they just say, oh yeah, we're just going to do this. And this pipe goes through here and we're just going to weld that there. Well, you might not have a lift. You might not have all these tools. So this entire plan which is why I've got the band style clamps. The entire plan for this turbo kit was to make it in such a way that most guys could make it at home. I will probably weld a few things here, but this will probably be a clamp right here, and that will probably be a clamp right there. That way this Y joint could be its own piece to go into shipping or what have you should I ever decide to sell it as a kit 
Um, I, have, I have thought a whole lot on all this and I'm totally rambling and I'm so sorry you guys. I really appreciate you hanging in there. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is just for the everyday guy in his backyard. I will assemble a list of parts, every little thing you'd need, and, uh, and links to what I bought. You don't have to buy what I bought. I bought an entire 16 piece exhaust piece set. There's four four foot lengths, there's four uh, 45s, there's four 90s, there's one, two, three of them right here. This was separate from the kit, this was separate from the kit, these were separate. So, yeah, there's a lot of work and a lot of thinking, and I think I way overspent on my quote-unquote budget build. But what I'll do is tally each part that is used and each part that's returned, and I'll get you part numbers and everything else. So, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, and we'll uh, see you soon, guys.